In the beginning, I'm a bit nervous walking around, but I see faces smiling at me. Some boys are shouting Jinji, the blonde. I'm a clown with blonde hair and red beard. Surely this equals walking around in other large cities in the Middle East, but Gaza is different. Almost no strangers are allowed to enter. We're in the suburb of Gaza City and uh, waiting for some food. Together with someone from the Gaza Agriculture Ministerium, we're going to see some fields and uh, our driver is uh, fixing us some food over here. The people of the Gaza Strip struggle under Israeli food blockade and a water shortage. The representatives of the Ministry of Agriculture tells that a million olive trees and numerous palm trees were planted two years ago on pieces of land on which 7,000 Israeli settlers lived since 1967. And here the Ministry of Agriculture has a project of producing compost and we have some uh, aubergines and some green peppers. Maybe take a, here's a red pepper as well. So small, small pepper fruits. And, uh, and aubergines. The last settlers departed Gaza in 2005 and left behind large pieces of land equaling 30% of the Gaza Strip with fruit trees. Here we're having a chicken kebab mm. with mm. the chili. Mm. And we said the yeah, you, you is two kilometers from the sea. The Gaitans were badly disappointed. The new land, called Amuharat, the free country, was without water. The representatives of the ministry tells me that the groundwater was let out of Gaza and into Israel as drinking water, causing the natural levels to drop. Drought today is therefore an unsolvable problem, I'm told. We are in the bazaar, bazaar of uh, Gaza City and I'm um, with Nidal. Are we going to taste some, uh, some pizza with the uh, Tohal? In the streets of Gaza City, there are different smells of spices and vinegar from pickled beetroots and chili, from coals burning under the kafta pitas, apple smoke from hookahs. Now we're still in Gaza and we sit in Al Khizindar and uh, eating uh, the famous hummus. This should be the best place in town. You, you need to practice a bit to catch it in a very uh, elegant way. Mm. No more God food. Tell us about what are you saying. You see, we're still in the center square. We have, so we have uh, all the pretty children playing around. In the nice. background, if we take it here, we have the we have the parliament, and it still functions like a parliament. Uh, but we see many of the other what's called ad administrative buildings has been uh, bombed during the different intifadas. Yeah, but the most export, here, uh, important here is the is the feeling of uh, of life and people enjoying themselves. So actually, I think this proves that you can uh, enjoy life in uh, in Gaza. It's like this. At the luxury restaurant El Salam, there's no alcohol served, but I try a couple of local specialties. Sabaya Gambra is a clay pot filled with shrimps baked in spicy tomato sauce. Start with this. Mm. Very crunchy shrimp and um, <laughs> very, very, what's called, um, it's a bit hot. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm not so used to chili, but uh, the Gaitian, uh, the people, they really like chili. And welcome they, to Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> yes, welcome to Gaza dish. And the local whitefish, Grupie, is baked and covered in tahin and slices of lemon. So we sit on the terrace with uh, Nidal, smoking, and we're drinking. Come with the name? Tabunish. And here? And uh, what's made as an honor? Let's give the corner. The camera is my boy. Changing the coats. And this has a very nice anise flavor. What you have is called Yansun. Yansun. Hi. So, this is the last evening in uh, Gaza. And uh, in these uh, two days, we have been much around. We have um, we have tasted a lot of street food, very spicy street food and hummus. We have tried the gourmet kitchen not far from the street food actually. We have, um, and then we have seen the, how people try to cultivate the country, uh, cultivate the, the fields where Jewish settlements used to be. And uh, but first of all, we've seen uh, how people enjoy life in the Gaza. Even though uh, nobody can go anywhere or nobody can enter here, people uh, have found their own right way to to enjoy it. Enjoy it. I like to come back. Tall Sacha. Okay. 